Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. This week I want to talk with you about the AAD token provider object that we have uh, in the SharePoint framework. The AAD token provider is a provider of uh, uh, access tokens from an open authorization perspective that you can use uh, whenever you want to consume uh, either the Microsoft or any other third party API registered uh, in Azure Active Directory. It is useful whenever you need to do low-level communication with the target API and you want to have the access token to use it as the bearer authorization header in the HTTP request. And bear in mind that whenever you use in the SharePoint framework, the Microsoft Graph or any other third-party API, you will always have a delegated access token. So you will behave on behalf of the currently connected user. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to play with the AAD token provider object. Let's start having a look at the client side web part that I'm going to use as the sample solution. Here we have four buttons and we can use the Microsoft Graph or an Azure function directly from within the client side web part, as well as we can get the access token to access a target resource, a target service. As you can see here, I get back an access token. If I get this item and I show you in jot.io just to see what's inside of the token, we can come here and we can copy and paste the value, the content of the access token, and we can see that we have an access token which is uh, defined for this audience, which is a custom uh, Azure function that I have on Azure. I have the uh, not, not valid before and the expired date uh, of my token, as well as uh, what is the uh, target uh, uh, scope that I have for this token, which is using impersonation for my user, because as I said, it's a delegated access token. And by using this token, I can make a request uh, targeting the API and getting access to the result uh, of that API providing the access token. How can we do that? Of course, if we simply need to consume an API, we can just use uh, the AAD HTTP client object through the AAD HTTP client factory that we have in SharePoint Framework. But let's say that we want to use uh, the access token at the low level. Well, through the context object of SharePoint Framework, we get access to the AAD token provider factory property, and we invoke the get token provider method. By doing that, we get back an object of type AAD token provider, which I give uh, in this uh, uh, client side web part uh, as an input property for a React component that will be the one rendering my web part. Uh, and in the React component, uh, whenever I click the use access token button that we clicked before, I execute this use access token function. Well, this function simply uses the AAD token provider to get an access token for the target resource. This is the unique URI of my target API as it is registered in Azure Active Directory. I get back an access token and I can simply create a request body which is empty for this API. I create a set of request headers and I define an authorization header of type bearer with the access token inside of it. And then I prepare an I HTTP client options object which will contain the body and the headers, and I can use it through the HTTP client of the uh, SharePoint framework context to make a post request targeting, sorry, a post request targeting the URI of my function, providing the version of uh, HTTP protocol that I want to use in the HTTP client configuration.v1, and the client options that I just defined. By doing that, I will get back the response from my target API, and I can simply process the result and do whatever I need to do. But the key point is you create an instance of the AAD token provider using the AAD token provider factory and then using the get token and providing the unique URI of the target API, you get back the access token. Of course, you need to have your solution configured to request a specific set of uh, missions which have to be granted, have to be enabled uh, by an administrator in the SharePoint online configuration in order to be able to consume the API. And that's it. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.